Hey guys, this is Chad. And Claire. This is CJ's Vinyl, and what in Sega Genesis is going on in the world today? <laughs> A very good question. Um, so, on this channel, we don't really touch up on these kind of topics very often. So far this, this last year, we've honestly just dodged a lot of different things that have been going on in the world. We've managed to not talk about a lot of the stuff in politics. We haven't discussed anything about COVID. But honestly, uh, some of the things that have just been happening as of just a couple days ago uh, really affect the music community and especially the metal community. And since CJ's Vinyl is a music channel before anything else, we really felt like this was an important topic. Uh, to bring up. So, um, you know, we, we've had all these different issues with our current president, um, just mistakes and things that he's made, um, and it's it's been really unfortunate to see how it's just continued to develop into, you know, this this poisonous thing that has really spiraled out of control. Now, I will say, neither one of us voted for Trump but we're certainly not people that are going to harbor hatred in our hearts against him either. Um, he's made enough mistakes at this point that it's been time for him to get out uh, for a while. And uh, we understand about that and um, we can rest easier at night knowing that we didn't have anything to do with him getting into office. And with him uh, most recently talking about Everything that was going on in the Senate, at the Capitol building, his most recent speech was way out of line, and it really fired up a lot of his supporters to just go in uh, to the Capitol building and do this huge riot, uh, which was completely unacceptable. All of that was messed up enough as it was. It was even worse, though, whenever we found out that John Schaefer uh, is apparently one of those rioters that went in and created a bunch of commotion and uh, destruction of the Capitol building. And uh, it was just the other night when you showed me the photo of him. And I, at first, I'm just sitting there and I'm thinking, please be no. someone else's doppelganger or something. Yeah. Or, you know, don't be John Schaefer. The not that John Schaefer. <laughs> Not that John Schaefer. And, but we, it, it definitely. It seems like it's him. And we went through um, his Instagram account and looked at a few things. Um, while there were a few things about government that he did seem to make some good points on, there was much more that we disagreed with. And we certainly yeah. disagree and do not condone the violence and the out of control behavior that took place at the Capitol building. Um, we're saying this and wanting to make this known because we are people that, I mean, we're not huge fans of Ice to Earth. No, but, but we have we've gone to their shows. We've gone a couple of their shows. We have a couple of their albums, Burnt Offerings and Horror Show. Yeah. And we've spun some of that music on our channel yeah. um, because we do really like metal and he's also the founder of demons and wizards and we've spun yeah. even more demons and wizards than we have iced earth mm -hmm. because we really like hansi kirsch and we know how much hansi kirsch is involved with that project with john schaefer but since hansi kirsch hasn't done anything um we our focus on this is john schaefer uh since he was the one that went in and took all these different actions now, something else to, to think about all of this, because this is certainly going to affect, it already has affected, our view of Ice to Earth and Demons and Wizards at this point with John Schaefer, um, sadly. I mean, we, I think it's safe to say we both had lasting respect for him before we witnessed this out of control behavior. Yeah, and before I did a deep dive on his Instagram account and found out some other things I wasn't really... Uh... On yeah, board four. that's right. So um, one of the things that Claire mentioned the other day, um, she was looking into this a little bit more because she noticed in that photo of him at the Capitol building, uh, there was a hat that he was wearing. Um, 
do you want to reflect a little bit on that and kind of just talk about that cap? Sure. Um, he was wearing a hat from Oath Keepers, which is a far right fringe um, militia group. Um, so that's obviously something we are not on board for. Um, the white nationalist white supremacy has no place in our lives and no place in metal. Um, so things like that. We also I also noticed. Um, He's big anti-vaxxer, um, lots of things to talk about COVID and masks don't work, anti-science things that are just not in any way reflecting our beliefs. Yeah. So if it's not him, it's someone that really lines up with him. Yeah. I think it's him. And so um, it, everything is pointing to that yeah. at this point. I mean, it's, it's, it's him. I yeah. mean, it, it, uh, everything that's been displayed online, the photos, I mean, um, his Instagram account. So we don't know what's going to happen to him. We just know that he's now wanted by the FBI. Yeah. He's on the FBI's most wanted list now. So, uh, I mean, one of the things that we wanted to challenge our viewers with is, do we hold Iced Earth's other band members yeah. accountable for something that they didn't even do i mean what do you do with that you know yeah. i mean we we can say right now we we are not big ice earth fans we are not um into much i mean american metal as it is but yeah. i mean john schaefer had his other side projects and we do like demons and wizards um but we do not support in any shape or form, the behavior that took place at the Capitol building, that is not how we think, that is not what we would ever um, support in any way, shape or form. No. So we don't want that to ever get the wrong way to anyone that might run across any of our videos with Iced yeah. Earth or Demons and Wizards. Um, I even had a couple other Iced Earth videos already recorded, but I don't know what's mm -hmm. gonna happen now. Yeah. I don't know if I should upload them. Um, there's just a lot of um, confusion and mixed feelings probably with everyone right now in this whole messed up situation that we're currently in. Um, I think that I speak for a number of people when I say that this is not at all what people would have wanted to learn about John Schaefer. I, I'm sure there are plenty of people that are all for what he's doing, uh, but we are not one of them. And um, I, I wish that this hadn't happened with him. I think that when you are in the spotlight like he is, with his kind of fame, you have certain responsibilities that you still need to adhere to. And he really went overboard in the way that he chose to go about it. At this point, we're not really gonna have anything to do, anything else to do with Ice Earth on our channel. Um, I, I don't know if I should yeah. remove the videos or not. I don't know if I should go that far i don't know if i should hold the rest of the band accountable to that no. that's something that again i would want to challenge people to think about yeah. do you hold the rest of the band members accountable they didn't do anything um but the, it's it's john schaefer's band really. right exactly he's the founder he's the one that created these so i mean it's it's so tough um but we just wanted to make our stance on everything thoroughly known so that everyone else is aware of how we feel about everything so that in the future there's no uh, misconstrued uh, feelings or thoughts about any of the videos that we post uh, regarding Ice to Earth or Demons and Wizards. We'd be really interested to know what you guys yeah. think. If you want to leave a comment below, um, talk about this. That's This is a very intense topic right now, so uh, we certainly would welcome any comments. Uh, we just don't want things to get out of control. but. Um, we're going to really leave the comments wide open on the channel, you know, at this point. You guys can say what you feel about this and what really bothers you, how maybe it's affected you. Maybe you're a much bigger Ice Earth fan than we are, um, and it's done more to you. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's talk about it and let's um, see how this all plays out. I mean, I don't know how this is going to work out at this point for their career, but... Um, Everything that happened that day at the Capitol building was his decision to make, and 
he will, I think, unfortunately see the consequences of that eventually, if not already. Okay. So, but anyway, uh, thanks so much, you guys, for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Bye.